Hello, St. Vincent's friends and families. I'm back with Cam Jansen, case number 24, The Snowy Day Mystery, chapter two. Let's see what's going on. The front hall of the school was crowded with children and their parents. The principal, Dr. Prill, was there too. Please be careful, Dr. Prill told the people as they walked past her. The floor is wet. It's slippery. Cam and Eric passed the office and turned right. They walked past the gym to room 118. The third teacher, Miss Benson, stood by the door. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Eric, she said as they walked in. A few children were in their seats. Others were still taking off their coat and boots. Danny took two black checkers from the game corner and a carrot from his lunch bag. He put the checkers over his eyes and scrunched his face up to keep them in place. He held the carrot by his nose and called out, Look at me! I'm a snowman! Danny, Miss Benson said, Please get in your seat. Here he is being a goofball. <laughs> Danny put away his snowman things. Hey, he called as he went to his seat. This is terrible. There's a radiator here and I'm melting. <laughs> Danny pretended to be a melting snowman. He wiggled and slowly fell to the floor. Beth was in her seat right behind Danny's. You're not funny, she told him. Cam and Eric's seats were next to each other in the back of the room. Miss Benson checked who was in class and who was absent. Good morning, a voice called out through the speaker on the wall. This is Dr. Prill. Please listen to the morning announcements. The children listened. When the announcements were done, Miss Benson told them, get in line class, we're going to the computer room. We have to get in line to get online, Danny said. No one laughed. <laughs> Do you get it, Aunt Danny asked. You use a computer to get online and connect to the internet? We get it, Beth said. It's just not funny. Oh yeah, Danny said. Do you know why the cat was thrown out of the computer room? He played with the mouse. <laughs> and do you know why the hamburger went to the computer store? It went to get chips. <laughs> do you get it? Chips, computer chips, not potato chips? <laughs> Beth frowned. Do you know why the old man on the mountain stopped to rest on the way to the computer store? <laughs> A hard drive. <laughs> Oh my God, he stopped because it was a hard drive. Get it, a hard drive? Danny laughed. Don't you get it? He was driving on a mountain road, so it was a hard drive. But that's a hard drive in a computer. The children followed Miss Benson. Oh wait, stop, Beth said, just stop. Beth is not finding Danny funny. The children followed Miss Benson to the computer room. Welcome, the computer teacher, Miss Bell, said. Take your regular seats. Then follow the directions on the board. Danny pushed to the head of the line. He hurried to his seat by the, by the window. The other children went to their seats. Hey, Danny, called out. My computer is missing. When will you stop, Beth asked him. You're really not funny. But it is missing. It really is. Mine is gone too, Eric said. So is mine, Cam said. Uh-oh. Got missing computers. Miss Bell went to Danny's, Eric's, and Cam's desks. Their computers were gone. Maybe someone borrowed them, Eric said. Maybe they're being fixed, Cam said. Miss Bell shook her head and hurried to the front of the room. She used the room telephone and called the office. Let me speak to Dr. Prill. Miss Bell waited. Then she asked, did you let someone borrow three of my computers? Miss Bell listened for a moment and then said, well, they're gone. 
three computers are gone. They're stolen, Danny said. I bet someone stole Miss Bell's computers. Uh-oh. So that's the end of chapter two. Did Beth like Danny's jokes? Yes or no? <laughs> no, Beth did not like Danny's jokes. Beth did not and does not find Danny funny. I think Danny's pretty funny. Um, what was missing in the computer lab? Was it 10 computers? Yes or no? Or was it three computers? Yes or no? Think back on chapter two. Were 10 computers missing or three? That's right, three computers. Danny's, Cam's, and Eric's. All three missing. I can't wait to see what chapter three has in store for us. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.